Welcome to Kids Play and Learn channel. Little Children's Bible Books Moses Pharaoh had ordered his Egyptian soldiers to kill Hebrew boy babies like Moses. So his mother put him in a basket and sent him floating down a river. Rabbit. When Moses was a little baby, much smaller than you, his mother saved his life. But God kept Moses safe. And when he woke up and started crying, Pharaoh's daughter heard the baby and saved him, making Moses her own son. If you went down a river in a basket, you'd probably fall out. Splash! Moses grew up in the palace. The Egyptians hated Hebrews, who were God's people. One day, Moses saw an Egyptian hitting a Hebrew man. Moses killed the Egyptian and ran away. Where is your favorite hiding place? Can you go there now? Moses hid in the desert for many years. One day, he saw a bush on fire. But the fire was not really burning the bush. How could that be? It was God trying to get Moses to listen. How do you make people listen to you? What did God want to tell Moses? God told him to go back to Egypt and help save God's people from the Egyptians. Moses was afraid and said, Not me, God. Forget it. God knew Moses could not talk well, but God said he would fix that. All Moses had to do was just say yes. If I asked you to hop ten times on your bed, would you say yes? Finally, Moses did what God asked him. He went back to Egypt and begged Pharaoh to let God's people go free. Pharaoh said, no. So God punished Egypt ten times. Oops, whoever's reading this to you is tickling your toes. That's what it feels like to have a frog in your bed. God made ten bad things happen to Egypt. These bad things were plagues, like turning the water red and sending many frogs and insects. Run away, run away, fast, hurry, hurry, said Moses. All those wagons and camels and donkeys, fathers, mothers and children. But when they reached the Red Sea, the Egyptian soldiers were chasing after them. Moses said, trust God. And what did God do? He split the Red Sea right in half. Now everyone could cross through the middle of the water and still stay dry. Take a bowl of water and blow as hard as you can. Can you make it split in two? And the Egyptian soldiers? What happened to them when they started after the Hebrews? As soon as they reached the middle of the sea, crash! The waves drowned them all. Now they are all wet. I hope they can swim like me. God wanted to take his people out of Egypt and bring them through the desert to a new homeland. But first they had to learn to trust God every day for food and water. Go get a piece of bread from the kitchen. Mmm, that smells good, doesn't it? That's what the children in the desert said when God made them little flakes of bread fall from the sky. God's people grumbled because they didn't trust Moses and they didn't trust God. This was wrong. Only when we trust God can he take care of us. Are you hungry now? Listen to your stomach when you're hungry. It rumbles. That's what God's children did in the desert. They grumbled and whined a lot. God gave Moses ten rules to follow, written in stone, so God's people could be safe and healthy. Go find a rock and try to write on it with your finger. When Moses was on the mountain, God came down from his cloud to be with Moses. 
Moses shut his eyes tight because God's glory was so great. Shine a light in your face, then close your eyes. It took God's people 40 years to reach God's promised land called Canaan. All that time, God had taken good care of His people, giving them food and water every day. I had bugs for breakfast. What about you? Thank God now for everything you ate and drank today. Thank you for watching. What do you think about this video? Leave a comment below to let us know. Don't forget to like, share this video and subscribe to our channel. See you in next videos. Goodbye.